Okay, today with Louisiana Beer Reviews, myself, David, and Jay, we are looking at Bell's Barrel Aged Cherry Stout. This comes at a 9.5%. This is out of Comstock, Michigan. Uh, this is the first time I've ever seen it. Uh, I was quite disappointed when I pulled the four pack out, expecting to see six at the price tag it was being sold for. But since it's a new one to the area, and I was interested very interested in how cherries would impart into the flavor of a stout also the whiskey barrels um, don't know what whiskey barrels they used uh, I didn't get any uh, any information on that I think Bell's uses Heaven Hill okay I think I'm not sure but I thought I read that or is that Founders Oh, well. uh, there's a little there's a little write up on the back. It says it's aged for 12 months in whiskey barrels. Our signature cherry stout invokes into a something even more flavorful and complex. Okay, so they're they're hyping it up. It was expensive. And it was six dollars a bottle for 12 ounces, so it's it's uh 50 cents an ounce. Well, you know, I mean, we, we could look at this as uh, as having to try it out of a bomber. Now I got four of them, 48 ounces, for what I paid for it. 24 bucks. Or I could have probably paid the same amount, which we did for two bombers. CBS or Liz of the Cobbs. Oh, yeah, CBS. Was, that's for 25.3 ounces or 25.2 ounces. Which is a fifth, twenty-five fifth of a gallon, yeah, twenty-five point four, yeah. Um, so in essence, when you when you're able to get something like this in a four pack, you get more beer for your money, you get more chances of tasting it, and more chances of sharing it. Too. Forty-eight ounces, yeah. So it's it's actually better to get it in the four pack. But like I said, I was hoping. I looked at the prices. Man, that's got to be a six pack. It was a four pack. So. And so, Bell's is the same old caps as anything. So we're going to go ahead and try this now. Give it a pour. I've never heard of it. It's exactly what I was thinking it would be. Pitch black. Uh, the head on it appears to have a slight it's tan. cherry note. Wait, wait, stop. Let's see if there's sediment. Let me look down in there. Nah, there's none. No cake sediment. No. Because there's no cake in it. Let me see. No, it's they, cherries. No, you know, I mean, it could be from the yeast. And stuff. Let's see. Whiskey barrel age. It's got a nice painting on there. It looks like it was painted on wood. Uh, bells. I'm looking at. I'm looking at the what what little bit of a head I have on mine. It's dissipating really fast. Yeah, mine too. Really fast. It says shelf life is unlimited. So there's no Best Buy date. 9.3 and it was packaged on December 5th, 2017. So it's just over a month old. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is the kind of thing you could age. So it's probably going to be a little hot, but I don't mind heat. You know, I do a lot of whiskey drinking and brandy and all, so I'm used to that. I mean, it doesn't bother me. Okay, looking at the appearance, it's like I said, it's black. What little head was there it was kind of like a tan, but it had a, it had a slight pink note on it. I'm picking up a little brown at the bottom of this glass, the very bottom tip of the glass. The little nub, you can see the brown shining through it. And at the top rim. But I, I don't see that. Yeah, I do. You may be getting different light than me. I don't see it. Yeah, I see it. It's black, though. It's dark brown. It's black. It's not as viscous as I thought it would be. It's looking, it looks It looks a little thin to be a stout. Like, I would call us a... Uh, it's more on the lines of Baltic Porter. Baltic Porter? Yeah, I've had Baltic Porters look a lot like this. Not so much stouts. And those are like a lager those type Those are fantastic. Porter. Yeah, they're like a lager porter because they use lager yeast and they do more cold. You ever had the uh, Baltica Porter? I don't even know who makes that. It's a company called Baltica. Baltica. No. They sell them at our uh, different ones. They're only two ninety nine a bottle, so and you get a big five hundred milliliter bottle. Just thought I'd mention it to you. As opposed to the 
Bottle down in a bottle. Yeah. Well, this smells. Huh. Well, they use real Michigan cherries in this. And I don't know if you remember the last time you bought cherries. Cherries are quite expensive. Yeah. Uh, last I saw cherries down here, they were five ninety nine a pound. I got sticker shock and I brought the whole bag up to pay for them. It was like $12. So Golly. I could see how they would have to charge more money if they're using the real cherries in this. I think I had one of their cherry stouts, but it wasn't whiskey barrel aged. And they was talking about using real Michigan cherries. Are you getting any whiskey on the note? No, I'm just getting like malt and bread, a lot of brown bread. I'm not picking up any cherries in the nose either, I have to tell you. I am. Maybe I'm the cherry stems, cherries, the stems, or the, or the skin. Cherries in slight... Uh, well, who knows how they processed the cherries to put it in. It could have been dehydrated cherries. Who knows? Could I mean, they cherries. could have taken all the, the cherry out of it. I, I, I don't know. Could have there been was cherry. very, very little write-up on this beer. Could have been cherry There were puree. two reviews. Cherry I saw three reviews. Two, two fellas that looked like they were new to the game. One of them had a cold. And the other one said he had had it before. But was that a black guy and a white guy? And it was two white guys. Okay, because one, there's a and black and a white Greg, guy and a white Greg guy. Beer's, Greg's beer review from way back, four or five years ago, had a review up, so. Uh, it's got a little sharp note in the nose, too. Well, I'm going to taste it. Enough talking about this. Yeah, look at this big one. Wow, that's cherry. Here's a cherry. Cherry cola. And it's bitter cherry. Tart. Tart. My, my grandfather used to make cherry bounce. You know what cherry bounce is? No. He would take, he had cherry trees in Baton Rouge in his yard, little black cherry trees, and he would take all the cherries and he would pour, clean them off, of course, after he picked them. Then he would, go, he told me, he said, here's some money, go to K&B, remember K&B, and get some vodka, some cheap vodka. So he just poured the vodka, this whole big, handle bottle in the bucket with the cherries and he sealed it up tight and he said he was going to let it set for like six months. Yeah, we call those cherry bombs. He made what he called cherry bounce. Bounce, bombs, it's the same. It's really bounce. strong. Yeah. Oh, you mean from the vodka? Yeah. And the cherry the bombs are actually, you save the cherries and you can eat the cherries. I think I he, still have some I think he smashed them all up in there eventually, and then he strained out the liquid. And um, huh. he was famous for his cherry bounce, he called it. And he also he also used to make hogshead cheese. All right, anyway. All right. Um, um, this is really strange. It's like um, cherry bread. That's what it's like. Cherry winter bread, cherry holiday dark bread, fruitcake. <laughs> That's what it tastes no, like. No, it does not taste like fruitcake. This does not taste like fruitcake, Jay. This tastes like cherries. It's dark note. I did get the cherry cola that you were talking about on the first sip. I took a second sip. I got stout. So it's got stacked flavors in it. And because the flavors are stacked, I think what happens is that in the, the cherry is so predominant that your taste buds will automatically pick up on one heavy note. For instance, like the second sip that I got tasted like stout. And all the good flavors you get from stout. But I'm not getting... I'm not, I, I'm not picking up any whiskey. I'm sorry. I picked up whiskey on the first one. <clears throat> I'm sorry. I'm... Cherry stout. Um... No, but they got some kind of fruitcake you can buy. It's really dark, dark, dark bread. And this reminds me of that. It's very spicy. I don't spicy. think it's supposed to be whiskey. I think it's supposed to just be a whiskey flavor. Barrel. There might be a little wood and the underlying, underlying whiskey vanilla. But you know, I'm saying that because I know what the label says. If somebody had not told me it was aged in whiskey barrels, I bet you I never would have mentioned it. Well, it says on the, uh, if I'm mistaken, on the back label how long it's aged. Age for up to 12 months. Yeah. 
So that means that some of them were aged for 12 months and some of them were not. Up to. Right, that's what the up to means. Well, you know, uh, two days is up to 12 months, but it ain't quite 12 months, is it? No. Um, now I'm picking up a little black char, uh, uh, black, oh, I'm sorry, dark barley malt, a little char, little, this is a weird product. I get the, the cherry sweet and the, the cherry tart, mm. and then I'm getting notes that we would get from a stout, which is all your bitter, your cocoa, your coffee, yeah. slight vanilla. Yeah. That bread that you're talking about, I'm getting a predominant. A lot of bread. The body's not that heavy. No, it's not. It's like medium body. I'm thinking this is going to age well. Semi dry. And I'll tell you what. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that one of these get put gets put on the side till Christmas of this year, and we'll look at it again. Christmas 2018. That's this year. Oh, I know. Um, that wind starting to kick up outside. Oh, I think we're getting ready to go through another weather change. I'm done with the cold. All right. Um, <sighs> Old man winter's coming back. I'm not sure what to say about this. It doesn't taste hot at all. Now, if I swear my words, do not judge me. <laughs> no, but what I'm saying is... I think is, this is going to sneak up on you. If it sneaks up on me, fine. But I'm not tasting heat. You know, like... Ooh, it's so strong. It's 9.4. It does not taste like a 9.4% beer. 9.3. No. Oh, 9.3. 9 it does not taste like a 9.3. And that's kind of scary because uh, if you're looking to regulate your intake and you're somewhere yeah. and you're not, you're not tasting the, what you should taste, or, you know, or what, what you're used to having that you may call um, a heavy beer, and if it tastes like a light beer to you, then uh, you may misjudge yourself and have too much without meaning it. Yeah, but I would be careful because I would just see the label and I'd say 9.3. I know where my uh, cutoff points are, or let's say I usually know. Um, I'm going to say, i got to give it one more sip. You can give a grade. I'll wait. I already had the grade in my head. I want to it's going to be higher than yours. I know that. I want to take a photo. Because you're getting pessimistic about it. Call it. I'll you call it. If you don't mind. I've never had a cherry stout. I've never had one aged in whiskey barrels. And if this is their... their I would like to try their regular cherry stout. The size of against this. Oh yeah. Uh, I was expecting sweet. I was happy it was not sweet. Oh, I'm sweet. tasting complexity in the cherries in the stout. Um, I'm getting the alcohol. I don't know what you're. I don't know. No, you're, I'm not. I'm, I'm gonna give it a. I'm, an gonna, a? I'm gonna give it a solid A. Yeah, so I was gonna say A. It's a solid A. It's not an A plus. No, it's not world class. If it was th thicker, it's a little thin. Yeah. If it was thicker, like tin fitty thick, it would be an A plus. It's almost like got like a porter body. Right. Well, anyway, uh, it's an A, but I don't know about the price though. Dough. I mean dough. I don't know. Six dollars a bottle. I might have second thoughts about it, but. What am I saying? Second thoughts. Before we started recording, I said, I would never buy that for that price, right? Didn't I say that? Mm -hmm. So some people are watching saying, yeah, well, we expect. But uh, that's just me, but we're different. So everybody's not the same, but anyway. So A, most excellent I, beer. And then I say you only live once, and if you see it, you'd like to taste it, just go ahead and buy it. I mean, it's, it's cheaper than going to any kind of a beer garden or bar. Well, that's for sure. You know, <laughs> you pay that much. I mean, you, you pay two fifty three dollars just for a regular Budweiser, Bud Miller Coors in a bar. I can just imagine how much you'd pay for 
plus See, the tip. this much. Uh -oh. you know, if you went to Avenue Pub, oh, don't even. If you went to the it. Avenue Pub and you ordered this much, which would be probably five ounces, I'm pretty sure that would, it would cost you twenty bucks. Say. And how much you think those guys were paying for those samples of CBS that they were putting on on our beer pages? They were so excited about. I don't know. I don't, I don't even care. Wasn't three dollars. I don't even care. I'm not. I'm not about the hype. I don't have to be know, the first one to taste I, it. I know, but you know, you know, they were laying money. I got down. one. Yeah. Oh, of course they were. Okay, but sometimes you got to do that if you want to be the first guy on Facebook to say I try CBS. Okay, but anyway, so uh, anyway, it's definitely very good. I mean, it's, it's, it's very good. It's uh, I've never had a cherry stout before. This one says it's it's, it's aged in whiskey barrels. I'm getting. Uh, I'm getting flat out whiskey that's just, it's just, it's, it's just like if somebody put it in like they do with vermouth, swished it around, poured it out, I think that's what you'd get. I'm uh, not getting too much. All right, thanks for watching this video production of Les Les Bon Ton A little controversial thing here, but that's all right. So um, I'm going to end this review by saying y'all come on down to Jefferson Parish. It's good. If you see it. Buy it. Oh. Try it.